I just got through listening to a, a Menfolk commercial. I coin it. I claim it. Note this date, New Year's Eve. A lot of nice shit used to happen on New Year's Eve. I used to go on an airplane and fly to St. Petersburg, Russia. <laughs> it's fun. You know, it's exciting. Come on. You travel around the world a little bit. Come on. New Year's Eve. I'm trying to catch that wave for you because you, you already know how I roll when I catch it. That's why a lot of times I'll do a third and fourth take. I'll get, oh, I, I missed the wave. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. It went by me. I didn't get on the board fast enough. <laughs> like I know anything about surfing. <clears throat> Other than porn. I know how to surf porn. I can surf porn with the best of them. I don't mind saying Actually, I should mind saying, yes, truth be told. Yeah, so I'm looking at this Minfo. Remember now, I'm coining this as of New Year's Eve 2022. Mini info commercial on YouTube. Yeah, for. Overactive wake signals, insomnia, and low. <laughs> They've got to they have a new chemical out to, to treat that. I've taken some Zoloft. I ain't gonna lie. Help me. I think I'd like to say it treated the symptom just fine. For me. But let's go back to overactive wake signals. Insomnia. You don't suppose it, it could have anything to do with your marriage that's on the rocks? Fucking job. Oh, you know, listen, you'd rather go to the dentist than go to work each morning. You work for such an asshole. Or your kids that call you dad, if you're lucky. And it's because it's usually something far less noble than that. Kind of like cop, citizen on patrol. Yeah, well, it's all the delivery, isn't it? Dad. Dumbass. Dumbass dad. It's its own acronym. Look at that. Dumbass dad. Dad. Dumbass dad. It's kind of like Bob Newhart and palindromes and he ain't black and he didn't want to go Suzanne Plachette was hot and he didn't want to go to this teacher's thing this guy introduces himself to the shrink Bob Newhart and uh, he says yeah and Bob he introduces himself to Bob you know lets it be known that he's an expert with palindromes saying words you know you know backwards almost on the spot like when people can talk right with you as it's coming out of your mouth you know what I'm talking about and he goes up to Bob Newhart and he's like, he tells him he's a pal or what do you call a uh, backwards speaker, back backwards speaker expert. And he asks him his name, and Bob Newhart, in classic Bob Newhart, looks at him and says, Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's good shit. I've gone so far afield. I'm never getting back. Let me look at these feeble ass crib notes. Overactive wake signals. So, yeah, I took some of off. I ain't gonna lie. It helped me. It helped me look at a black nothingness at night. It helped my brain look at nothing. And then I was able to go to sleep. And I've carried that benefit with me. I'm on a little bit of it now for OCD or whatever, uh, like 0.5 milligrams. Uh, it's not that bad yet. I can stop anytime I want to. Uh, I, think I, I think I can almost do without it. I'm actually behind on a lot of my meds now that I've sort of, I've added to uh, 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 
at my own behesting, at my own at my own decision making process, knowing my body and me as well as I do, I I decided to add a little aromatherapy. And my goodness, if I'm not behind on my meds, especially my happy pill, that must just fucking drive my doctor crazy. I love that man. Oh yeah, that must just fucking drive him crazy. Uh, take you. And shove that one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that, man. Overactive wake signals. Yeah, so it wouldn't have anything to do with, you know, your neighbor. Your neighbor, you know, he just, he's a little too friendly with your wife. You know, you're not an asshole. You know. You know. Because you live in these tight-knit little communities. These uh, uh, residential districts. Yeah. Wouldn't have anything to do with that. Or the photo citations that you're always having to look out for. You feel like a hunted animal now when you leave the house. Somebody. I'm feeling Somebody's watching me. There's no way I'll hit that, because I can't sing anyway, but you've already detected that thoroughly, I'm sure. That I made you suffer more to sin. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Because you do you feel like a hunting animal. Yeah, you do admit it. Yeah, you do when you're commuting to D.C. in the mornings. If it's not some butthead in the car in front of you that... Do I have to go on? Yeah, moving on. Do you suppose that people who have decided to live off the grid, like let's say, I think my, co my cousin Kevin, who's a mountain man, by the way, I, I don't see any problem if he ever chose to do it. And you get that stipend check from the federal government, you go up there and live in Alaska, yeah, you get money. Federal government pays you money to live there because they got to keep that population up. It's politics, gang of roo So, oh, look, all of a sudden people be fucking moving to Alaska. Look at that. Uh, it's not that much. Yeah. Do you suppose that Grizzly Adams, you know, the big mountain man, that was a handsome looking bastard, wasn't he? Big man. And the Grizzly, and didn't he have a pet bear? Like, didn't he have a bear that came around or something? And, yeah, I think. I, you know, do you think he get, he got, that character gets insomnia? I'll bet they don't. Shit, I bet more often than not, somebody like that is t plum tuckered out from splitting some wood and, you know, doing this, maybe milking, you know, the goats, you know. Oh, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. I bet they don't have insomnia. I have a young man in my life. I look upon as a son. And, uh, and this is for really any law enforcement that happens to hear this. I was the guy you were looking for. County, you feeling me? County. Thank you. County type shit, all right? County, county pokey type shit. I was the guy you were looking for. I got you. A little bit here and there, yeah. Nothing permanent on my record. Thank God I was a minor, technically, before it. Oh, yeah. Okay, moving on. Except for those two offenses back in 86, which were listed as criminal. I got to get that shit expunged because that's that. The law. Traffic. Traffic. Rob's still the guy you were looking for. <laughs> stressful life, man. This stressful life. Now you got all this shit in front of your face 24 hours. A oh, shut up. Don't lie to me. You know you do. You're glued to the fucking phone. Everybody speeds. Okay? 
Come on, you can do it. Catch up. There you go. I know, I'm a dick. Just, just humor me. We got a new subscriber, and I'm not telling you his name. I saw it. It's a good name. And see, I didn't put him up front either. You have to listen to my shit to see that I was like, I'm aware. Oh, I knew some we got. We, we're 26 in total now. I have a quarter. I have a quarter of a centurion's forces. I just need the, I need the, the shoe brush on a, on a, and I need a helmet. Well, I've got race car helmets out there. So I guess I could fashion, like, I could go to the hardware store, get like, you know, like a, a, a shop burger, a small one, you know, a small one. And then die the fuck out of that. You know, get it, try to get it like nice and pink or something. I could do that and I could be your centurion. And then we'd need 75 more subscribers. Can be done. All things in time. Right. Hey, Rome was not built in a day. So yeah, over active wake signals. I wonder if I'd have insomnia if I was like that guy, Grizzly Adams, and, and worked physically and mentally, but a lot of physical effort, you know, to keep my shit, my stuff together, my little, my little domicile, you know, up off the grid. Bear proven shit, you know, for the ensuing long ass nights that are coming. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Make sure my curtains are, yeah, they're ready to hang, nice and thick. Nice thick curtains. Why well, imagine I'd be, and if I had a good day, a productive day, maybe got a, a, you know, a carrier pigeon from my neighbor Lou, who's, you know, a couple of hills away. You know, send me a little little love note. Says he wants to get together and do a little, you know, hanky panky, and, and then I'd write back on the love note, Lou. Uh, no. And then I would send it back. But see, I would have human contact during the day. See? And then I'd get another carrier pigeon, possibly later. And it would be from Salma Hayek. Because her and her, the, the billionaire, but he's got to be on life support at this point, doesn't he? I don't know. Iron lung or some shit. How old is he? Doesn't matter. But, you know, Cazelle would probably bought a place, you know, a ways away in the... In, in, in the in in Alaska and it'd be like how you doing and that's what the pigeon note would say from Sama would be like hey Mishutka how you doing you're dead just give me a time baby okay and so then I would have to write the time on there and I would send it back and I would have two human contacts in a day so it wouldn't be like even though I was living off the grid I was, you know, uh, isolating. No, far from it. Because I know that in three or four hours, Selma is going to become hiking. Kind of a blaze, blaze, kind of a blaze in the path there. But we kind of try to keep it dusted, you know what I mean? We don't want to be obtuse and shit. And so I'll see Selma coming, and she'll have worked up a nice lather by then. So she'll probably want to freshen up when she gets to my little bungalow. And, uh, and then I'll help her freshen up. The end.